finished through the tunnel. We're moving on now to Rocky Rollin' Road, where we're going to save four Waddle Dees. We're going to find the, the side road while going uphill, eat snacks off three tree stumps, and drive without falling off the edge. So this is the beginning of the level. It's, uh, you know, it's very straightforward. Let's get rid of the enemies, obviously collect a little little coins is what I, I like to do. A uh, little porcupine dude that is not too happy to have you around, but what we do is we catch up with this dude and, you know, take his powers. The coins, and right up here is the very first snack we're going to eat off of a uh, tree stump. See that pop up there. And just move on. Don't, maybe don't get shot like I did. And if you want, kill the friendly dude. He's not really actually doing you no harm at the moment. And up the ladder, we will find our second snap on a tree stump. Lots of fun there. That's a banana. Let's move on carefully as we go through here. Simply, you know, just use the gun. Actually, the gun is actually a vital component to this level for various reasons because we have targets to hit. This level also contains one of the uh, the How Lab secret levels at the end, which you can see in one of my other videos. If I wasn't sucking so much at shooting the target from a distance here, we would be moving on real easy. But there we go. And this is your first Waddle Dee. Hidden behind those those rocks, blocks, whatever you want to call them. Just kill this guy up the ladder. As we go up this hill, we're going to find our second secret, which is the side road while going uphill. We have a little twinkly thing here to get some coins along the way. But basically, if you get that, you just follow the coins and it leads to the side road, even though it doesn't necessarily show you. You can go behind there, but you can. And simply up the ladder, you found the side road. Kill these guys, and there's some corn on, I don't know, bags over there. But then we have to use the mouthful mode, and we get to open this. And we get our first toy. Vending machines are so much fun. You ever remember getting those when you were a kid? You know, it cost like 25 cents or a dollar, but it was like the greatest thing ever. I'm gonna come over here, and we're gonna have to kill this guy, otherwise it's gonna be a pain. And we come to our second target that we can shoot to open up another secret area. And in here is where we're going to find our second Waddle Dee. We just have a little skill game to play here. As you can see, if you didn't have it for some reason, you got in there, it's there. Now what you got to do is you got to shoot the lower ones first because they are descending down. And if you don't get these ones, then you don't get the Waddle Dee. It's as simple as that. Three in the middle, you can just shoot a, a powerful one and kill all three at once. And then it brings it up. The coins and our second Waddle Dee. He's so happy. Now we're best friends. Elephant's in there like she's actually done something. Just tags along behind somewhere. And kill the guy again, get him out of the way. Now over here is a little bit of a secret to get your third snack. You can get rid of this guy and become him. But you gotta come up on the stone here, on the twinkler thing, and it opens that up. And there's your third snack. And we complete that mission. Now here's a little tricksy one that, that I actually missed um, on my first go. Because I was just panicking when there's no reason to panic. The rock never actually catches up to you as long as you stay in motion but on this point here you do have to make sure you grab this switch before the rock crumbles in and takes away otherwise you cannot pop this waddle dee up as you see there it's now gone so there's our third waddle dee happy as the other ones and it looks like a crazy hot dog on the bench i just kill that guy for no reason And as we come down here, we're going to be able to use mouthful mode again to turn into the car, which is how we get the drive without falling off the edge. 
so we have to make it through the entire the entire drive portion without falling off that edge there. Um, it's not too hard as long as you keep going fast like I am. You won't get bumped up by anybody, and you won't have any worries about that. I'm just be cautious through here like I am because I suck. And then jump. Now this one's important because you come around and you jump again, and you open the way for our next Waddle Dee, number four. So you've done that, and in a moment, when you're around the corner over here, you'll have finished uh, driving without falling off the edge. And completed the level. Now on this level, I obviously got caught by the rock. If you go over here to the right, and climb on top of those boxes instead of breaking them. Get on top of the tree and shoot the target above the door that you went through and find the second water view. A staircase will open up that you can climb up and you can find the HAL Laboratory secret space. Again, shown in another video of mine. But we've cleared the level and, you know, we've got everything, which is great. So we saved the four Waddle Dees, we found the side road, we eat the snacks, and we drive without falling off the edge. And that's how you clear all those missions. Okay, so we collected Blade Knight. Who else? Oh, we collected Cappy. And that's it. So we got those two toys. And we've completed the level, which is perfect because we cleared all the missions. And then we can move on to a trip to Alavel Mall, which is actually a lot of fun. I enjoy that level. Okay, and we've got 10 out of 10 Waddle Dees, which is great because they help build uh, the Waddle Dee town back up. Okay, perfect. So, we opened up a couple extra areas, and again, if you've been following the videos, you need to go to those areas to collect the rare stones so that you can upgrade stuff. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If